So I watered this uh, nest thermostat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install thermostat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is is gonna take this thing off. It can come right off. So you see the connections inside are R, W, C, and K. And I see that R and RC and RC and R they're shorted. Um, so you can see it right here. See it right here. Or it's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna label all of them. So I've started putting these stickers on. Um, and these stickers, by the way, they came with instructions of Nest. So these are the instructions and these are the stickers. So one thing that you'll notice is that there's a K, but there's no K sticker on the instructions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, Y1 for K. By the way, the instructions also said that I should disconnect the power, but because this is low voltage, I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but if you feel uncomfortable, you should actually disconnect the power from the circuit breaker downstairs in the basement or wherever your circuit breaker is. My stickers are all done. One thing um, I'll tell you that might help you guys is that some of the cables I was not able to put the label on properly, so I, what I had to do, I was I, I pulled them out through a screwdriver and then I was able to put them. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing off and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take these um, connections out, uh, like using a flat screwdriver. So these wires can come out and I'll, I'm also gonna take these screws out so I can take this face plate off. So the nest, it came with this uh, face plate, this one, and this is supposed to go like this so this is how it's gonna look like on the wall. But now I'm just thinking, should I actually use the faceplate or not? Because without the faceplate, it's gonna look like this on the wall. So I actually li like this look better. So I don't have to use this faceplate over here. So the way it's gonna look like on the wall is gonna be like this. It's a, it's a neat neater look. Uh, the only thing is I'll have to fill up these holes which have been left, left from the previous uh, faceplate. So I've passed it through the, uh, the thermostat. So now I'll make, oh, they have actually put like a small thing there which tells you if it's straight or not. That's quite handy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark and then I just have to connect these, like Y1 is gonna go to Y1 here. R is gonna go to R over there and so on and so forth. I have put all the wires in. There are only four that I needed to connect. And as you can see, it looks like a spaghetti in the middle, but I don't care, it's gonna be hidden. I still have to put the other one, other screw down. Okay, it's all been connected now. Let me just connect and see if it works. So I think some of the wires are in the way. that okay so I've been able to set it up and the thing is that somehow it knows when I'm in the room it just turns on otherwise it just turns off I mean the display looks pretty slick